Hey everybody. It's just moi. Finally got a shower. My hair's all wet. It's like 7.45 in the evening. But I'm clean now. Clean like Daisy. So I feel a whole lot better. Uh, I've been pretty much, you know, staying close to the house because I can't really wander a whole lot. I'm taking uh, my few days off work for like I was going to do for vacation. Rest the knee up a little, wrap it real good. Might go in on Monday, help out for a while. Even though I was supposed to be on vacation that day and Tuesday too, but I just don't want to stress uh, my office manager out any more than she was this last Monday and Tuesday. Poor lady was on vacation the week before and she comes back to hell. <laughs> Because apparently, not only did I have I a torn knee uh, on Monday night or Tuesday morning, our proofreader threw his back out. So he wasn't there either on Tuesday. So she was doubly stressed. Yeah. Um, God, I felt so bad. Um, I get an MRI on Tuesday. And I thought for sure when she called she was going to say it's at like 6.30 in the morning or some bizarre time like that. But it's actually in the evening at 5.20 so that's pretty cool. So dad and I will go to the hospital. It's at the um, at Memorial Hospital. So that'll be fun. I've had a CAT scan before so I know it's very similar to that. It's just a different machine you have to lay really still in. I had, had to have a CAT scan in my brain. Mm, when I was, I had to have it twice, once when I was 15 and once when I was 18. I used to get uh, migraines so severely that they thought, well when I was 15 they thought maybe it was a tumor of some sort, but it wasn't, thank goodness. Um, I just remember sitting there with my head in that donut thing and they're like, don't move, don't move your eyes, stare straight forward. I'm like, jeez, how long do I have to do that for? That's the one thing I'm worried about this MRI is sitting still because my leg, it aches so much that I keep wanting to move it and fidget it because if I keep it in one spot for so long it starts to ache so I'll move it. So it's going to be um, interesting to see how that works out. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. I don't really have a whole lot. If the world was perfect, I would be in Arkansas right now, driving Joy crazy. Oh yeah, I would have. I would be excited. I I would be meeting her today. I would be meeting her today, and I would be surprising her with Lizzie when she jumped out of a bathroom like a jack in the box. Okay, maybe not a jack in the box, but she would have came out of the bathroom slowly and said, "Hey." Yeah, Lizzie was going with me on this trip. <sighs> Not many people knew she was going, and we kind of um, pretended she wasn't because we wanted to sh like make Joy crap her pants. And I heard to the grapevine that Joy has called us a heifer. I heard about that, Joy. Call me a heifer. Well, me and Lizzie she called us both heifers. <laughs> Oh, he's going to do it, too. And we had her convinced. We lied with good intentions. Not maliciously. It was all with good intentions. Oh, yeah. So, and tomorrow would have been the day I would have met Tushy Galore and had lunch. Dang it. Oh, gosh. Oh. I'm still heartbroken about not being going on this trip. Oh, you just don't know. But apparently I'm not supposed to be anywhere but home right now. So maybe I'm just where I'm supposed to be. What else do I have to say? Yeah, I have no purpose for this. Oh. I have something to tell you. Remember the whole drama about the dogs next door? Apparently, 
after this, the whole big brouhaha fight happened, uh, they put a doghouse in the front and had their black lab in the front yard. And the two other dogs in the back. The pit and the yellow, gold, yellow lab. Well, then all of a sudden, the black lab was gone. And all they had was the two young dogs in the back. Because they've had wags for about as long as we've had Heidi, so it's like five years. Apparently, they had wags. The dog I like, the only dog that they've had that I like, they had her put to sleep. Because of this whole situation. Because, um... They said she was the one that bit their daughter when I was watching out the window and you couldn't tell who it was and the daughter wasn't even near Wags. She was holding the other dog and he was all Arr. So I don't I don't I don't know what happened because I didn't see the whole thing, so but apparently they had her put to sleep. And she was honestly the only dog that they had that I trusted. She was a sweet dog until they started getting these other dogs. Uh she did she didn't change but uh, i guess the the toby would just pester her and jump on her and bite her face and get her until she just snapped at him because she was five and here he is like a year old he wanted to play and play and play and apparently they just they i don't know what happened but we found out that they had her put to sleep so i'm bummed because i don't have anything to do with the two dogs they have now because they're both aggressive so I don't go there. Someone's calling. I better go. Bye.